Hi everyone, welcome to another art making activity presented by the Cantor Art Center and the Anderson Collection at Stanford University. Today, we're going to be making an embroidery project inspired by the artist LJ Roberts. Now who's ready to get started? For today's activity, we'll need a picture of someone close to you, such as a friend or family member, an embroidery hoop or frame, a piece of burlap cloth, tape, markers, scissors, large plastic needle, and yarn. While you gather your supplies, let's visit the Gibbons Gallery inside the Cantor Art Center where we will find L.J. Roberts' exhibition, Carry You With Me, 10 Years of Portraits, which we'll use for today's inspiration. The artist L.J. Roberts was asked to teach embroidery as part of the university class, but they didn't know how to embroider. L.J. Roberts had to leave a community of close friends to take on this new teaching opportunity and became homesick. By making these pictures of friends with needle and thread, LJ felt close to them and also comforted by carrying along their portraits. LJ didn't need a studio to make these pieces, saying, The fact that I don't need a studio to make these pieces, that my studio is wherever I am, in whatever circumstances I am in, is central to why I began making the portraits. All I need is a small tote bag with my thread, scissors, needles, and the embroidery. The materials are easy to find and cost very little. All right, now that we've got a little inspiration, let's get started with our activity. First, cut a burlap square that is larger than the embroidery hoop. Tape the edges of the burlap so it doesn't unravel while you're working. Place the burlap over the picture and trace it using markers to outline the image onto the burlap square. Secure the burlap cloth to the embroidery hoop by placing the burlap between the two circles of the hoop and tightening the screw on the outer circle to make the cloth smooth and taut. Thread your needle with yarn and tie a knot to the eye so it stays threaded. Begin by making stitches to fill in other shapes that you see in the picture. Feel free to experiment with stitching and learn by doing. Or you can look for helpful embroidery tips online like LJ Roberts did. Take your time, LJ Roberts worked on their group of artworks for 10 years. The video shows a freestyle embroidery example. It was fun to make and it felt good to create a personal artwork featuring people close to one's heart. Hooray, we did it! Do you like what we created today? Give us a thumbs up. We'll be back soon with more art activities, but in the meantime, you can always come visit us in person at the Cantor Art Center and the Anderson Collection located on the campus of Stanford University. See you next time.